Hey, Financial Future Fam. More payments are rolling out today for certain Social Security beneficiaries. These payments are averaging right around $1,800. We'll dive into that, but first, let's get into some updates on a possible government shutdown at the end of this week. Now, can members of Congress just get along and act civil? It seems like a challenging task, with multiple verbal fights breaking out this week, even leading to a possible brawl. But before we jump into the main content, do me a solid and smash that like button. It really helps the Financial Future channel, and of course, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Now, in our lead story today, we've got a series of fights breaking out in Congress. Republicans seem to be having a tough time getting along, from accusations of deliberate elbows to name-calling and even a near fistfight during a Senate hearing. And guess what? This isn't the end of it. We've got representatives accusing each other, calling names like Smurfs, and Twitter exchanges comparing politicians to angry villains from the Smurfs universe. It's like a reality TV show up in Congress. All this drama is unfolding while we have significant issues like a $34 trillion debt, homelessness, and people struggling to make ends meet. And let's not forget, these representatives are making around $180,000 per year to, well, not get along. Now, in some other news, Social Security beneficiaries, heads up. Payments are going out today averaging around $1,800 for those born between the 11 and 20 of any given month. The final batch will be on November 22 for birthdays falling between the 21 and 31. And looking ahead to December, mark your calendars for payments on the 13, 20, and 27. Switching gears, an inflation report came out recently. Good news, inflation didn't rise from September to October. Mixed news, the 3.2% inflation matches the Social Security Cost of Living Adjustment for 2024. Bad news, 3.2% is still too high. Let's hope it goes down, and not just because the government might be rigging those numbers. And in our last story... The House managed to pass a government funding bill, averting a shutdown. The Senate's up next, but it's expected to pass. If all goes well, the government will be funded until January 19, with some parts covered until February 2. Now, interestingly, the vote had some surprising numbers. With 336 in favor and 95 opposed, 93 Republicans voted against it, compared to just two Democrats. Looks like the new House Speaker, Mike Johnson, is sending a signal of bipartisanship. Let's see if the Senate agrees. That wraps up today's financial future update. If you found value or just enjoyed the chaos that is our political landscape, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay financially savvy, future fam.